Hey guys, today we're talking about a brand new wireless video transmission product from Austria. Let's get into it. Hey guys, I'm Chad with Take One Film and Video here in Nashville, and we're here at Bold Distribution with my good friend Blake. How's it going, Blake? Good, Chad. Man, always great to come by. You guys have some of the best film support products. I say film, cinema, camera support. Uh, have so many great brands, and uh, today we're actually going to be talking about a very cool wireless video transmission product. And the company is out of Austria, yeah. and uh, it's called Dwarf Connection. Yeah. And so tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, we're really excited to have them on. Um, so they are just a wireless video company. So they have products that take basically your wireless video from a camera or another source, and it sends it wirelessly um, to your receiver. That's usually at even a recorder or a monitor for people to look at in Video Village or elsewhere. Um, but the primary goal is to take your wires and get rid of them. So it'll send a signal from point A to point B wirelessly. Very cool. One thing I noticed about these right off the bat, they were uh, really well built. Um, yeah. Aluminum construction, uh, the bodies are built very, very solid. I mean, this is something that I feel like I could take out in the field and it could get beat up a little bit and still working. And that's, that's, one of, that's one of the things, you know, when you first look at something, those first impressions are kind of a big deal. But recently, you guys were doing some tests with them. And uh, we did a test, a shootout with probably would be their closest competition would be Teradek. And so um, you were telling me about this uh, uh, shoot with a drone company. And I, I wanted to, to talk about that. I know we got some footage uh, yep. to look at. Uh, so tell us a little bit about kind of the, the background of it, what we were looking for uh, and, and how it went. Yeah, so we partnered with a great aerial company called PDS Media, which is out of Nashville. And they were so great to do the test with us. They currently had a Teradek 10K system um, and they wanted to test out the ULR1 from Dwarf Connection, which goes up to 4,000 feet. Which is like three quarters of a mile, by the way. I did the yes. math before the video. Yeah. It's pretty far. It's a, it's a long distance. And so we took it out in a field and we did some tests. And you'll see some footage, I think, here with... Um, we just did a... We're in a field. We did full line of sight. We took it uh, straight ahead. We took it straight back. And then we did some strafes alongside us pretty quickly and kind of did some real world tests on the performance of the Dwarf Connection system, the ULR1 versus the Teradek 10K. Um, they were very interested in the unit because they were unhappy with their current selection of system. And so it was really nice for them to be able to put it through the paces of what they normally would encounter and the issues they'd come up, uh, come in contact with and kind of how the Dwarf Connection system compared uh, to their other system and, and uh, it, it went really well. They were so impressed with the comparison, the test that we did that they actually ended up purchasing the ULR1 and they have it on a big shoot now, a big feature. And so far it's been great for them and it's been nice for us to kind of have that first um, unit out in the wild in the US. <laughs> exactly. And uh, it, it's going, it's going so well. Well, speaking of the US, you know, some concerns obviously with products coming in from Europe and other places is, you know, are they, compatible with FCC regulations and laws. I mean, mm -hmm. can you fire it up and not have to worry about getting in trouble if you're, say, in New York City or Los Angeles? I mean, are uh, everything FCC compliant, I'm assuming? Yes, yeah, they are. And with the Dwarf Connection system, you've got eight pre-selected frequencies. The common practice is to scan the area that you're gonna be filming in to see sure. which frequencies are less trafficked. And then you would select a frequency out of your eight pre-selected frequencies on the Dwarf Connection unit so that you could have the most reliability in that frequency. So with the Dwarf Connection units, um, all the receivers have a built-in spectrum analyzer that will output via the HDMI. So you could scan the frequencies in your area where you're shooting, find the frequency that's least trafficked, and then you can select that frequency to operate on. So you're gonna have as least amount of interference as possible. That's fantastic. If you guys have any other questions and wanna check out uh, the Dwarf Connection, I highly encourage that you do. We'll have some links in the descriptions down below, but give us a shout if you have any questions. We'd love, we'd love to talk to you about this product or any of our other products at one 81 take one You can also email us at mail at takeone.tv. Well, give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe if you wanna see more of these videos. And Blake, always fun to come out and hang out at Bold. Yeah, thanks and, for coming. Uh, yeah, when you get something else, let's, Let's check it out. We'd love to talk about it. We'll do. Very happy to support both. Thank you guys. We'll see you soon.